What's going on YouTube? Tony here with Advanced Street Technology. Um, yes, we are bringing you another uh, LS Swap New Edge Mustang video. As you can see, the uh, C10 is out of the garage. It's not out of here completely. We just got it outside. Um, it finally uh, drove on its own power. Uh, we were able to get it out, finalizing some things so that we can do a test drive. But for now, uh, we are bringing you a partsless video of the New Edge Mustang. And as you can see, cool parts going on this thing we have a lot of stock um, replacement parts uh, LS swap parts and performance parts all going on here that we're gonna show you right now so buckle up and let's get it So one of the things we're going to be doing is a battery relocator kit. Um, here's our wire, brackets, um, these uh, like uh, tie downs, everything we need. It's a whole kit. Um, uh, Giovanni, uh, owner of the Mustang, was the one who purchased this. So it should be a complete kit. We'll, we will be installing it. Um, you guys will be seeing that. All right, next up we have our low profile oil pan. This car is slammed or it's lowered, um, so it definitely needs it. This is pretty, uh, pretty short compared to the factory truck uh, oil pans. So this is gonna be a great fit um, to make sure that we get as much clearance as possible underneath. And it comes with the gasket, bolts, pickup tube, uh, O-ring, all the necessary stuff to make this uh, installation uh, a breeze. I love getting new hardware. Uh, here are all the bolts and a block off plate for the um, uh, oil cooler lines. Uh, the, the new hardware just makes it look so much cleaner um, instead of using the old uh, bolts. So we try to replace as many as possible. If you guys have been watching our channel, you should know that. Our wiring harness it is a standalone wiring harness but um, you know this is actually a good one and anytime you have uh, any wiring harness that's labeled it right away tells you it's a better quality um, it is a drive-by cable uh, setup so um, you know we'll have a cable for the throttle and um, it actually comes with instructions and also it already comes with the uh, injector adapters in case we need them. So this should be pretty uh, straightforward to install and a quality, quality part because um, this is a US company. And that one came from Ken's Customs. So if you guys wanna look that one up, um, it is a, a good price, quality 
um, wiring harness uh, and you know affordable which is ideally what we need okay I like to run these monster intakes and we got them a red um, intake black pipe because it's a red car so you can see black top so it'll go well with it All right, next up is our transmission cooler. The car right now is a manual, but we will be swapping to a automatic. So um, you gotta have a good transmission cooler. And I always do these uh, larger ones for like heavy duty trucks, uh, just because you wanna keep your transmission temperatures under control. And these uh, do a very good job. This one, I believe um, I get all of these from Amazon. Um, not very costly and, and good quality. All right, we will be running uh, braided um, fuel lines, different fittings. Along with, we have uh, a Walboro 450 E85 pump it is a, a used one that I had kind of hanging around, but it, it, it's a good one. So we're going to put it in there just because this will uh, provide enough fuel uh, for the higher power that he wants to make. We'll obviously do like a new install kit. We'll do the screen, um, a hose, and, and just wire it up in tank. We did a brand new uh, oil pump since we will be installing a camshaft. So we went with the milling uh, oil pump. I also have a new uh, camshaft uh, gasket. Have this barbell that we will be installing. All of these things are for oil pressure. Um, and I also bought this little tool uh, for an, an alignment tool for the front timing cover uh, to help line up the cover so that um, it goes in there centered. And I do like to run uh, the ICT uh, billet. Um... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the ICT uh, billet uh, steam port um, return. Uh, I like to run a steam port. I mean, it's a uh, factory uh, installed to help um, get rid of air in the cooling system. So personally, I like to use it and keep that function. Uh, again, this came from Amazon, very cheap um, and effective. Along with that, we did buy new hardware. Uh, ICT billet uh, transmission bolts. Like I mentioned, uh, we like to clean things up, make sure it looks as clean as possible. And one of the things that will kind of hinder or be an eyesore is old bolts, especially if they're really dirty, on a nice clean build. Especially on this transmission, check it out. So the transmission is a 4L65. It has an extra uh, pinion in the planetaries and um, uh, it's supposed to help for power. It comes in a, uh, or we got that one out of a Denali with a 6.0 in it. And it's actually a fresh rebuild uh, with a bunch of different upgrades on it uh, just for to help the reliability. Um, and the clutches were upgraded. So it's kind of like a stage one uh, upgrade 4L65. Hopefully we want it to handle reliably um, five, 600 horsepower uh, and we'll just see, we'll just see how it holds up. 
All right, so it looks like that was a lot of our factory stuff. Let's get into all of our performance things that we're doing uh, to the build. Start off, we're just gonna kind of go through it. Uh, the camshafts, like a stage two Texas speed, uh, came as a kit with the dual valve springs, um, chromoly push rods, uh, titanium retainers, and we have a set of ARP bolts that we will be putting on there. And also this bad boy. Uh, Giovanni went ahead and purchased this um, uh, sheet metal intake manifold and it should definitely increase horsepower along with this 102 millimeter throttle body. I mean, this thing is a monster compared to the factory one and compared to, um, uh, you know, uh, in any other upgraded one. And the cool thing is that it comes with the idle air control valve and a new TPS sensor. Um, and again, it's a drive-by cable. Uh, so we will be just hooking this up and it has our, our line here, I believe for the um, uh, PCV system. What do you guys think of these LSX? Let me pull it out of here one second. What do you guys think of these stickers or these badges? He bought them, he wasn't sure about them. He got new ones. Um, so tell me what you guys think. Would you run these on the Mustang 4.6? And to those of you um, who want to check out his page um, on Instagram, one slow underscore two valve. All right, we also have to kind of uh, complement the camshaft. We have this high stall um, FTI torque converter. It is a factory style, so it'll bolt directly up to the flex plate and, and be a, a drop-in um, torque converter. And we have new bolts, again, that will be going on that. Let me go ahead and show you guys the springs because we already had them, them installed, took them to the machine shop, had them install the springs, the dual valve springs, and they went ahead and cleaned up the heads, uh, milled the, the mating surfaces. Uh, so these bad boys are ready to go. The block is sitting right here. Uh, we are about to do the, the ring gap, check the ring gap, make sure everything's good um, because he will be going boost. So we are going to be um, checking the ring gap in all the pistons, the number one uh, ring and number two, and making sure they're all good. Uh, resealing the whole thing, rear crank seal kit, front crank seal kit. Uh, we're going to paint the block. It will be getting, uh, head, uh, obviously, a head gasket set. And doing that ring gap will probably be the next video that we have for you guys. So stick around and check that one out coming soon. All right, we're not done yet. We still got more parts. So to help with the turbo install, um, we went ahead and did a QA1 tubular K-frame. Check it out. I'm very curious to see um, how much more open this will make the engine bay and also to see the weight reduction uh, that it has because the factory one's supposed to be really heavy. And this one, as you can see, it's pretty light. Like normal, it came with brand new hardware, all the bolts necessary to make it all work, um, bolt up the uh, steering rack and everything. And 
then also to go along with the QA1 um, K frame, we got LS swap um, brackets so that we can bolt up our LS uh, engine mounts. So these are pretty sturdy. They're like nice thick steel, um, really good quality. So I'm happy with these and we will be installing um, these to go with the K frame so that we can drop the engine right in. So if you found this video of value, then hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. Smash that button, show it who's boss. You're the boss, I'm the boss, we're all bosses. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, more videos coming of the new edge. Coming soon, we're gonna get cranking on it today. So there will be more videos coming. So stay tuned, get to work, and we'll catch you on the next one.